Classic TV fans, Rick Nungy here. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Hogan's Heroes. But more specifically, we're going to be talking about a man who was an actor on Hogan's Heroes. He was an actor on many other television shows. I won't be able to name every single one of them. But first, I'm going to talk about the Hogan's Heroes episode, then talk about him and how he played a role in it, and some of the other productions that he was also in, just honoring him with his passing most recently. So let's begin with the episode in question. He only appeared once on Hogan's Heroes. It's one of my favorite shows. There's a big Hogan's Heroes audience on this channel. So I did want to let you know about this. The episode from season one is called The Pizza Parlor. Now it's the one with Major Bonicelli played by Hans Conried. I love this episode. Now, Major Bonicelli arrives at Stalag 13 to train under Colonel Klink, hoping to get some good advice. Now, Hogan and his gang try to convince the new arrival to go to work for the Allies. Now, they concoct an idea to bribe Major Bonicelli with some homemade good Italian pizza. Pizza that would be like his mama make. It was such a great episode, like I say. And here's the man in question. His name is Joe E. Tata. Now he was born in September 13th, 1936 in the Bronx, New York, and he recently passed away August 24th of 2022 in Los Angeles, California. Cause of death is listed as Alzheimer's disease. It is very early, but that's the report that we have as of now. Now he was born from a, uh, a man named John Lucas, who was a vaudevillian who had once made a name for himself as Rosie the Singing Barber. Now, Joey Tata, as he was once known, this was one of his first roles on Hogan's Heroes, but he was on other TV shows as well, No Time for Sergeants, he was in Lost in Space. He was henchman several times for the 1960s Batman series, which I do cover extensively on this channel. Things like Time Tunnel, The Outer Limits, Mission Impossible, the one from the 60s, Mannix, Rockford Files, so much. And he is best remembered as the good-natured owner of the Peach Pit Diner lovingly known as Nat. Now I did want to play, I mean, I could have made this video in so many different ways, shown every single appearance. Well, that would have been, I would say almost close to impossible or shown a lot of the shows that I cover in his appearances, but I just want to show him from the lens of Hogan's Heroes because I love the show. And he did play a fairly prominent role as a minor actor in it. I mean, his father was the one who gave the heroes the recipe for the pizza that convinced Bonicelli to go to the Allies' side. So it was really cool. He was essentially the crux of the plan, which is great. And he had a lot of showing. I'm pointing you out to you here, even though he appeared in this one episode. He did appear, as I mentioned, in many other series. We're sad to see his passing. I remember him very fondly growing up watching Beverly Hills 90210. I was even an extra on one of the episodes. Such a great man, and we are so sad to hear of his loss. Have you seen him in any other show? Let me know down in the comments below. Did you ever hear about his passing? Maybe a lot of you were actually fans of Beverly Hills 90210, or maybe saw this Hogan's Heroes episode. Check back, take a look at it, and then you can see Joe Tata is one in one of his earlier roles. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It was a rather quick one, but again, I just want to make it to honor him, honor his passing, and to give you all the news that unfortunately we have lost him. But we do have a good breath of work that he has made and we can watch and enjoy. And for that, I am so grateful. Thank you so much to all of you for watching, for supporting. I am trying to hit 150,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. So thank you to everyone who's hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free to do so and it is getting me closer to my goal. We're so close to 140, I can almost taste it. We'll see you all next time and don't forget everyone, be hopeful. Thank you so much to my supporters on Patreon, especially my Diamond Tier patrons. New patron Gerard D, David D, Citizen Kane 359, Greg S, Kevin K, Ricky, Sally, and Vito L. Make sure to check the links in the description to see how you could be on this list as well.